but I will do a tutorial on this if we get 80 likes or more. Okay guys, chill, I get it. Hello everybody, welcome back to MCPE Redstone. Last day, or yesterday rather, I posted a video about a Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone Elevator. And a lot of you guys wanted to see the, the, the tutorial. I asked for 80 likes for a tutorial. And you smashed it, it's like at 250 likes or something right now. Something crazy, I don't know. So, let's get building. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty simple in a way. And, uh a bit more different in another way maybe. Okay, so let's get started. Um, for, you can make this as high as you want and as many floors as you want really, but um, for this example we're going to copy the one that I showed in the last video. So what you're gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, and then just make a little square with it, with an entrance of course. Um, this doesn't have to be... oh wait, um, one, two, no, the entrance goes there. Uh, this doesn't have to be uh, exactly the same size, but as I said, we're just copying the last thing. So now you need to know how many floors you're going to use. If you're going to use two floors, as we did there, uh, those are two floors, then we need to dig two holes down. If you have three floors, you have to dig three holes down. Now the reason that this is because this will be filled up with sand later. Oh, this one goes there. Uh, so two deep in the floor all the way around just like so and uh, yeah the next thing you do is you build this all the way up and I'll be back when that's done okay um, now, once that's done, of course, these corners you can fill in, but it's just for aesthetic looks. Um, what we're going to do is place a little roof on top. This is not necessary, but it is something that you can do if you wish. Uh, maybe it's best to leave a hole for now, so we have some lights to work with. Then we're going to make an entrance, which is basically the first floor. This can be like in a building or anything, really. And this is going to be the first floor. Now, the first floor you have a button. So you're gonna place a button at the height of which you will be standing, which will be about, about this. And then where you will be standing, which is this place, will be a layer of sand. And layer below that, you're gonna punch a hole in the wall. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to use a redstone... Oh, you're gonna use a redstone signal from the place with where the button is, which is here. So we're gonna use a redstone signal, so let's quickly check if, uh, if that is working. As you can see, if we would press the button now, let's check, yep, it goes around. So just if you didn't know for sure which height it was, then you know for sure if it works. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna slowly bring the redstone signal to this place. And uh, let's uh, put what we need to put here. Uh, we take a piece of TNT, which a lot of you guys really weren't able to guess how we did this, uh, but this is how you do it. You take some TNT, you place uh, the redstone like this, place a stone block two beneath it, so that the TNT has a place to fall, make a little cup like this, uh, so that the TNT can fall in it. Now, of course, this will blow everything up if you do it. So what you need to add as well is another little cup, I guess you could say, but fill it up with water. Now, if this TNT is going to uh, fall, it's going to fall into the hole, so it's not going to be, like, anywhere in your build or anything, and the water is going to flow on top, so it will be able to um, make sure it doesn't explode anything. Now, what you're going to do is take some signs, there they are, yeah, there they are. And uh, you're gonna go to the hole that you made and you're gonna see this TNT is here. Now, of course, if you didn't know, once a TNT is lit, the signs will go away. So you place some signs, as you can see. Just place them all the way, place them over the entire area and make sure that all the signs are eventually connected to that one TNT block. 
So you place signs on top of signs on top of the TNT block. Nice and easy. Now on top of this, you can use carpets on top of this, this and then you don't have to put the hole in here. But for now, I'm going to use the sand blocks or the gravel blocks of your choice. You know what? Let's go with some orange sand, because why not? Uh, pretty easy, right? Um, now, what you need to know for the second floor, which we will do as well, but speed up, I think. I'll speed this one up, I think. So what you need to know is, let's say, is this about the same height? Uh, I think so. It doesn't really matter anyway. So what you need to know is you will be putting your button here and uh, the hole will not be here. Well, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. So what you need to know is you will need to put your sand layer here because that sand layer will fall on top of this one. When, when you use carpets on top of there, you don't have to bother with this, but when you put sand, you need to know that your new layer of sand will be here. So one layer below that is going to be the TNT block. So this block is going to be the the little hole. And that's pretty much, uh, once again, you're just going to repeat what we did earlier. <laughs> And then you're almost finished. What you need to do now is go back in here, uh, use the signs again, same tactic as earlier. And then you're pretty much done. Um, so in conclusion, this can be a very, very cool elevator thing that you can make in a map so that you would have to collect um, let's say levers to find the keys basically and you'll always be able to go down a stage um, it's not that sort of that useful in survival as you can't really use it over and over again so once you press the button you're gonna fall a stage as you can see the TNT is going to explode in the water not really doing any damage you can go out this place or just go out another layer and you're pretty much uh, on the bottom uh, you can also use the carpets, as I said, this may be a bit better. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, but I saw the suggestion in the comments, so I saw I'm, I thought I'd mention it. Anyway, if you are happy with this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if you want to see another elevator design, leave a like as well, and I maybe, I'll, maybe I'll figure something out as well. Uh, subscribe for more redstone tutorials and content at all. Uh, see all this redstone over there? That's all going to be upcoming videos. I'll... I th this blue stuff I already made a video on and the green stuff all over there all going to be new videos so we've got a lot of stuff in store so make sure to subscribe if you are interested in redstone I will see you all in the next video goodbye